I've never done a branded photo shoot before and I felt like it was definitely about time for that. This photo shoot exceeded all my expectations. Um, it was just one of the most magical days I've experienced in a long time. Regina just knows how to just bring your dreams to life. And I felt like I was in the world of my paintings. Like she took a painting and made it three-dimensional and um, it was just an incredible day. As a professional artist, having a photo shoot like this, um, these assets are really important for marketing, branding, and you know, having this visual for people to connect to and understand your brand as an artist. So I really needed that. It's been a long time. This photo shoot was also just a really fun way, another way to express myself and kind of bring my paintings to life and collaborate with another talented artist. Regina Wamba is so good at what she does and I felt, um, I feel really privileged to be able to work with her and collaborate in this way and just, she really created some magic and I had the best day ever. So we planned a very long day for the photo shoot and not only was Regina also taking pictures of me, but also she was doing a photo shoot with my mom. We did one together. We involved our horses. We had a long day planned. So we started with a sunrise photo shoot and we were really excited about this because my studio, as you can see, has all these windows and beautiful lighting and the sun comes up over there. So it's like around 8 a.m. It's like the most beautiful sunlight coming in through these windows. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Wow. So romantic. We had this really romantic um, idea planned where we had candles and we were gonna have butterflies. So I had to get dressed and um, get my makeup done and, um, you know, of course, have some coffee. Cheers. Cheers. So it was 5 a.m. I had to wake up at 5 in order to make the sunrise photo shoot work. Um, and I needed at least an hour to get dressed and mostly just do my makeup. And so we both uh, woke up really early and um, Regina's daughter, Ashton, um, got up early with us and she was the one doing my makeup. So we rushed um, we were kind of in a rush because we woke up a little bit late. I snoozed for a little bit thinking, oh, makeup won't really take 45 minutes, but yeah, it did. It took a long time. What time is it? Six. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta do our makeup. This is the before face. Am I in the frame? Yeah. 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 This before is before. Face. Let's go do makeup. go get dressed and then we're gonna go do the photo shoot. I didn't realize how much goes into a professional, like, what do you call it, makeover. And I haven't had one in like years. So um, she did an amazing job um, putting on my makeup and I felt like a different person, but in a good way. I felt like, I felt just very glamorous and it was a fun feeling. So we are doing my makeup and then we realized the time, it's like 7.30 almost, and the sun had already come up and we were trying to rush over to my studio. We opened the door and it's gray outside. There's absolutely no sunrise. <laughs> it was just a little bit sad. Um, but you know, in the end, it turned out to be beautiful and we made it work anyway. And um, it was still such a peaceful morning and, um, and then we didn't have to rush anymore. We weren't trying to like race the sun and um, we got to just take our time with the morning photo shoot. Regina had this amazing idea that I order some real butterflies and I didn't even know that was a thing and I started researching it and there's places all around here who will ship you butterflies. They come in this beautiful little box um, with an ice pack and they basically are in hibernation mode until you let them warm up um, in the sun for about an hour and then you let them free and they're just, you know, 
they do their thing and they go off into the wild. So I've been working on this painting um, and it has a lot of butterflies in it. And it just so happened that the exact breed or type of butterfly that I was painting in my paintings, I was able to order that. And I didn't realize that until like they came and I was looking at them like, oh my gosh, it's the same butterfly I just painted. So that was pretty cool how that coincidence happened. Anyway, we got the butterflies and we plan to use them a little bit later on in the day, um, closer to the you know late afternoon. But we thought, let's just give it a try. Now let's just take out like two or three butterflies in the studio and you know, see what happens with this photo shoot. Now, I did not film this part because I'm really glad I didn't, <laughs> but um, we had candles everywhere. It was just like a gorgeous setup and you'll see pictures of this, but there was candles all over the ground here, um, all around my easel, just, you know, everywhere. It was like this beautiful glowing light and um, it was, you know, early in the morning, so it was just still kind of gray out and, um, Anyway, we got like two butterflies, no, three. We got three butterflies and they were still kind of sleepy. We didn't really let them warm up yet. We just thought, let's just get them while they're sleepy so they'll like stay on my hand while we do this photo shoot. So one decided to cooperate and it, would, it was on my hand and I got some incredible shots where, you know, I was painting, holding it. It was just beautiful. Then out of nowhere, it leaps off my hand and falls, goes straight into a candle. <laughs> like moths are drawn to flames, so are butterflies. <laughs> they are attracted to the light. Somehow we didn't put this together. We didn't know this was like a tragic thing that would happen. And so two out of the three butterflies died in a candle and it was horrible. And actually I still kept one, here it is. So they, um, they kind of got like mummified with the wax and Later, we did use it as a prop. Um, you know, it sacrificed its life, but we were able to still use it. I feel, <laughs> I feel pretty bad. In the moment, I screamed, okay? I, we all kind of like stopped what we were doing and we thought, this is really messed up. Just to add that, to that though, the rest of the butterflies made it, okay? They had a great life and we let them free and um, we'll get to that in a little bit. So after that, we had a quick breakfast. Um, my dad's the best at making breakfast, so he cooked for everyone. And then we did a fun little um, outdoor photo shoot with my big blue dress. And we moved to Florida because of the weather. We love the warm weather, but this day had to be very, very cold. So I felt like a princess in this dress. I mean, it, it was just, I just haven't had that feeling since I was like a little girl and I was obsessed with playing dress up when I was younger. I always wanted to be a princess. I, I always wanted to like dress up as something. And um, I didn't realize that deep down, maybe all girls feel this way, but like wearing one of those dresses, it just brings something out in you. And I felt like I could live in my imagination in a different kind of way. Like I was. I don't know, like it brought out that princess side. And I wonder if every girl feels that way at some point. Um, so yeah, wearing these dresses was really one of the best parts of the day, just wearing all these different outfits and um, really stepping into a more dreamy identity because um, my paintings are really, you know, very, they feel very like dreamy and like you're in this dream world. Um, where anything feels possible. And so um, wearing these outfits kind of like, it made me feel immersed in that feeling even more. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. The rest of the outfits were Regina's and she has, she brought this huge wardrobe of dresses and clothes that we got to go through and, you know, pick what fit and what we liked. Then my mom and I needed a photo shoot together because, you know, we do a lot of business together and we both co-own Milan Art Institute. 
Zion, hello, sweet boy. All right, ready for our togetherness photo shoot? Yeah. Togetherness. <laughs> so we, um, we just, it's been a while since we got a good photo together. So um, we set up in her studio. We had all of our artwork behind us. Does this look okay? Does it look like it's tight on me? Yeah. Yeah? It yeah, it does. It looks normal. Yeah. Okay. It was really cool to see all that together and see our different styles, but how we kind of like complement each other. And that was really fun. Um, and that was a quick photo shoot. Um, and the photos were, they turned out amazing. So after that, my mom did her thing. She had an incredible setup. I don't think I got some footage of that, but maybe she'll do. A YouTube video you can go check out that so then it was time for my last photo shoot of the day with my horse halo and he is you know this this didn't go quite as I planned I thought it would be a lot easier than what actually happened he's a really good horse he's not really afraid of much but at the time I wasn't riding him because he had a small injury on his foot and so I think he just had like this pent-up energy and so every little thing that we were doing around him he kind of was like a little bit startled and um, so that just kind of like gave me some nervous energy <laughs> thinking what's Halo gonna do and Regina had like so many cool ideas planned and we were like I was timid timidly doing them because I felt I don't know didn't want him to like get spooked um, but it turned out like that part of the photo shoot was the best part of the day. And it was the most struggle that we felt, but it turned out so incredible. And this was the part that we kind of planned to use all the butterflies. And we had this really, you know, romantic idea that the butterflies would be like slowly coming out of the box and Halo would be cooperative and maybe I'd be on his back and like holding the butterflies and Anyway, the thing I love about Regina is that she wants as much, um, she wants to do as much of this in real life as possible. Like we're not using AI to create these, um, these effects. And even the light bursts that you see in the photos are all from her lens that she used. Like everything was all like natural. And um, I really respect that about her and think you know, she's just super creative and fun to work with. So she had these little paper hearts that were kind of feeling like butterflies and she would be throwing them. And then she gave some to me to throw while I was on Halo. And at first, you know, he was a little scared, but then, then he got over it. After the photo shoot was over, it was like, you know, a little bit after sunset and I washed off all my makeup. I felt, you know, just so, so excited to see like when you're in the moment doing these things, like you're behind, you're not behind the camera. You can't see what the photographer is doing, but you just are hopeful. You're hoping it's going to turn out um, as you're imagining. So these photos turned out so much better than I ever imagined. And it was just wild seeing what she captured and thinking back to those moments and all the little things we went through, worrying about, you know, the butterflies or... Um, the sunrise not happening or, you know, just these little things that were like, you know, a little bit sad. But in the end, she just, she created magic. So I hope you enjoy these photos and let me know what you think. And definitely check out Regina if you would love to get a photo shoot with her or um, learn more about her. And she's just amazing. So her website is reginawamba.com. She's also on Instagram, Facebook. Um, she's also a painter as well. So that's the end of the photo shoot and it was such an amazing day. We had so much fun and it was just, I don't know, crazy long day, but I just oh, saw I a sneak that. peek of the photos and they were incredible. Definitely the best photo shoot I've ever done and been a part of. And I can't wait to show you guys the results. 